so the next thing I wanted to take care of on the F5 is the wing. But when you look at the wing, um, the carbon rod sort of goes up, let's see if I can zoom out, goes up uh, through here, passes down here, and then through the other end. But if you look closely, and this is kind of sketchy, is that all that there is supporting this carbon fiber rod really is this piece of plastic on both ends. Um, I mean, you could argue that it's kind of pushing up against the foam. So but this spot right here, and maybe this spot right here, the only things that are supporting the wing. I mean, I don't know, it seems to work but to me seems and feels very, very flimsy. That That's all the plastic. I mean, that small piece is a piece of this entire plastic here, but I don't like it. So, what am I gonna do about it? I uh, ordered some um, acrylic rod that's about 16 millimeters in internal diameter. That's the diameter of this hole here that the carbon rod will fit through. And I'm just gonna epoxy it to the surface right through so that that carbon rod will now be supported not just by um, these two spots but entirely through the foam. The F5 and what I've done here is I've pulled off this uh, bypass that was under the turbine. What you to see here is where the spar goes through. So you can see I'm pushing the spar in right now. It's gonna go through, there's some foam here and some foam there. And then there is that um, plastic sort of former where this part comes out of and that's on both sides. So I'm going to add um, an acrylic block underneath um, this piece of wood so that hopefully that carbon fiber rod is supported um, much better and that's going to get glued to the foam on the bottom as well. So what I did is I uh, cut out the aluminum foil and exposed the foam because what I'm going to do is glue this piece of wood under there and then on top of that I will put this uh, piece of acrylic and I know that heat is a problem because this is going to be close to the hot section of the turbine so I will see if I can um, cover that in the same uh, aluminum foil tape and between hopefully that and the bypass that's going to be up here that should be enough heat to enough insulation. Here's what I'm going for. You can see the tube, uh, the clear tube, the thrust tube passes right in there, and then the piece of wood uh, is what supports that piece of plastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna epoxy the wood to the piece of plastic that support that to that thrust tube, and then I'm gonna glue that onto the foam in the bottom. And I think that way we have a lot more wing support for the spar. Supporting wood block is in place and I just foam tack that in place. Next thing is going to be epoxying the uh, support rod onto that piece of wood. The setup I'm going for, I have roughed off the plastic and cleaned it up with alcohol. Um, and again I should say I would have preferred carbon fiber just because this is in the hot area but um, this is all I had and hopefully I'm going to just uh, use some of this aluminum tape and put it over this um, in between that and the bypass and the fact that heat wants to rise as opposed to go down maybe I'll be good we'll see but I'm gonna now put the carbon fiber rod through so that when I glue this thing um, I know that inserting the carbon fiber wing rod is not going to be a problem so the carbon fiber rods inserted and now that I know what that looks like uh, I'm gonna uh, take the carbon fiber rod out, put some epoxy on the bottom of this and in the wood, set that in place again, and then glue the rod on the sides here and here so that it's really gonna stay in place. And then we're done. Alright, so here's the final result. Um, you can see that the extra spar is now glued to the bottom of the fuselage and to the sides here, and this is um, E00NS epoxy, air epoxy. And so Hopefully with that, I'm a little bit happier with this. I just like to overbuild um, the supports for the wing. So final result, you can see the hump over here. And I have applied a general amount, a very generous, sorry, amount of aluminum foil tape. So hopefully between that and the bypass that goes on top of it, uh, that acrylic should be fine. Uh, we will find out.
Uh, installing the uh, control linkage for the aileron is pretty straightforward. Um, in the hardware kit, you have um, control lot rod lengths. Uh, there's pr practically two types. So the shorter ones here, those will be for the flap, and you can see how those match up. So they fit the flaps up really well. And the longer ones are for the ailerons. So I'm going to go adjust those. Uh, there's power to the servos. The servos are centered, and I'm going to install the control linkages for both ailerons. And then um, I will leave the flaps because I want to get that done once I have my setup ready to go because flaps, as you know, go only one way. So I don't want to burn anything out, so those will stay undone for right. next. So the ailerons are done. Um, they are both moving. As you can see, final touch on the aileron control surfaces, which is just, uh, like I said when I did the elevators, adding that uh, carbon fiber rod, because I think those uh, linkages are quite flimsy if you ask me, but they work. Um, I just want to be double uh, safe. So adding that carbon rod, that adds extra strength to that um, linkage so it doesn't bend. So did that on uh, both aileron uh, rods, there's a second one there, uh, and I'm happy with that. And I just use uh, shrink tubing with adhesive to just uh, keep that um, in place. Not that I needed it, but it just looks nicer to me. So that's done, and on to the next thing.